What's up everybody, my name is Elliot and today we are here again with my 2008 Toyota Prius and it is a cold wintry day. Uh, I just checked the forecast, it says, or the weather, it said it is currently 21 but it feels like 9. So it's chilly. Today I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the, uh, the things that come up when you drive a hybrid or an electric car in the cold weather. It's really bright, I probably should have worn sunglasses especially for recording this and staring directly into white and sun. Anyway, it's really cold. Let's get in the car and take it for a drive and learn about why driving hybrids and electric cars in this kind of cold weather results in diminished performance. Oh, I oh. should probably shed this jacket. Okay, here we go. Real quick, let's see how the traction is. Ready? Monster torque. Woo! I bet you didn't expect to see wheel spin on a Prius video. That's the kind of excitement you can expect on this channel. All right, getting out on the road here. I gotta say the roads uh, aren't that bad today. The surface streets and the neighborhoods they're slick, but the main roads are fine. And even if they weren't, one of my recommendations is to put about a 30 pound bag of laundry and a 50 pound bag of cat litter in the back of your Prius before you set off. Now you might say, why would I do that? The Prius is front wheel drive. Well, like everything, life requires balance. And like a good airplane, a good weight and balance helps you go down the road even smoother. Now, I bet it surprised some of you that I had such a nice shirt on under that coat, but as the CEO of Toyota said when he designed the Prius, something that roughly translates into look good, feel good. And that's what the Prius brings out in you. Because of the attention this car draws and the everywhere you go, people are generally expecting a celebrity or at least somebody good looking to be driving the car. So the Prius encourages you to dress up for the occasion. And that's what I've done here. I like to consider myself a hybrid of sorts, part-time reasonable guy, part-time gentleman, full-time cool guy. Anyway, let's talk about what makes hybrids different in the cold. So the main thing is you're driving a combination electric car, gasoline car, and because you're hauling around a big battery, batteries act different in the cold. Batteries are big boxes of chemistry. Inside of them, a chemical reaction is going on and that's what allows you to use it as power. When it's colder outside, the chemical reaction is lessened. You're able to put less charge in and discharge less of the battery or less efficiently, I should say. That's because batteries, like humans, prefer to be at a certain temperature. They work best above 40 and below about 120 degrees. So when it's this cold out, like I said earlier, it just, your battery isn't going to function the same. And that's going to result in reduced miles per gallon or reduced efficiency in, in a hybrid. Another one of the main things is that because it's a combination electric car and gasoline car, when it's cold outside, your gasoline engine has to run a little bit more. And you might say, well, why? You know, I've got the battery. Uh, well, the reason is because most hybrids uh, rely almost entirely on the internal combustion engine to heat the cabin. And when your heating demands are higher, the engine needs to run more. Also, it's colder outside, so the engine cools down faster, needing to kick it on again, and it's a cycle. So your internal combustion engine just needs to run more when it's cold. Nothing cooler than being safe in the snow. Now, a lot of hybrids use supplemental heating for their cabin, and, but it's it's really the equivalent of a, of a blow dryer. So it can really only kind of maintain cabin temperature for a short time. And that's usually used for when the engine is off at stoplights and those short times after the stoplights between zero and 20 miles an hour when you're on electric only. Uh, after that, the gasoline motor kicks on and that's where it, your heat comes from anyway. So no matter which way you slice it, you're gonna be less efficient the battery charges less efficiently and it discharges less efficiently. So you're not able to use it as long as you normally would be able to. The cabin requires heat 
and the engine is cooling down quickly, so the engine needs to run more, and all of that is just going to re result in sometimes as much as 40% reduced efficiency, um, and that's a lot, but at the end of the day, you're still going to be more efficient than most other cars on the road, so there's no reason to not drive your hybrid in weather like this. Now, as far as cold weather handling goes, the Prius is cat-like. It, the grip is amazing, even in the snow. Its low center of gravity and front-wheel drive makes it ideal for these kind of wintry conditions. Electric only. Let's see how long we can stay on it. Pretty long. Keep going. Ah, gas motor kicked in. That's okay. We got we got going. We got going about 30. So that's really good. I mean, that's a long time to not have to use the gas motor if you do that every time. Of course, it's pretty disrespectful to do it in traffic because you really have to baby it uh, to stay in electric only mode, especially when it's this cold outside. Sipping on gas and staying in the left lane to pass. Now, some other things to consider before driving your hybrid in cold weather like this is to, like anything else, let it warm up. A lot of people say you don't need to let hybrids warm up because the battery will get you going at lower speeds and so forth. And that's generally true when it's nicer outside, but you'll notice when you turn a hybrid on in you know below 40 degree temperatures that the gas motor kicks on pretty instantaneously and it needs to warm up a little bit, both for its safety, uh, for the mechanical components, and for your cabin comfort. Because like I said, the cabin heat is mostly derived from the internal combustion engine. So it's best to let your, your hybrid warm up a little bit before you drive anywhere. Another thing while you're driving one of these cars in weather like this, if you monitor your battery status, you might notice that the battery appears to be f more full than normal, or at least charges up more quickly. Even though I said that batteries are less efficient in the cold, that's because batteries tend to report back falsely that they're charged more than they are when they're cold. So don't get too excited. It, uh, it'll go back to normal once it's warmed up. Other than that, just drive it like a normal car. Be cautious. When you first start out, the electric motor is delivering a lot of torque. You might notice some wheel spin. But because these cars have such advanced traction control systems, it's really not going to translate into anything for you, the driver. It's just something to be aware of. So get out there, have fun, drive your hybrid like normal. Don't be afraid of the winter. And even if you get reduced efficiency, Rest assured that you're still getting better miles to the gallon than most other people on the road. Of course, all these tips don't really apply if you have any more than an inch or two of snow. If you've got so much snow that the front end is plowing into it, uh, the Prius is not gonna be your best bet. You better call a friend with an SUV or stay home. Again, coming through these curves here, even in this kind of weather, cat-like grip in this thing. It's it's astonishing, really. Look good, feel good. That's the Prius way. Every morning when I go out to my Prius, I kind of take a double check and I'm like, is this what I'm wearing? Does it match the car? Do I rise to the occasion of driving a fine automobile? About half the time I have to go back in and change. You can't be going out looking like some bum when you're representing the hybrid community. So there you have it, guys. No matter which way you slice it, your hybrid's gonna be a little bit less efficient in the cold, but it's no reason not to drive it. Big deal if your engine runs a little bit longer. At least your cabin stays warm and you can rest easy knowing that you're still getting better miles per gallon than most everybody else on the road. Man, seriously, this thing's like a panther through corners. It's, it's amazing. I don't know why people buy Miatas when you can just have one of these. And just remember the Prius motto, look good, feel good. And when you're in a Prius looking good, is always on the menu. That doesn't even make any sense. Looking good is never on a menu. So there you have it. Uh, just enjoy driving your hybrid in the winter. Don't worry about it. Just know that your uh, gas motor is going to run a little bit longer and that you're not going to be able to drive on battery only power for quite as long. No reason not to drive them in the snow. Your miles per gallon go down a little tiny bit, but just drive it like a normal car. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. My name is Elliot, and I will see you on the next video.
taking it easy and getting good miles per jeezy. Oof. <laughs> that one, that one was rough.